under the Liffey Falls. Oh, the River Liffey. The River Liffey Falls. <laughs> we made it to the Liffey Falls. <laughs> Woohoo! We were enjoying the sunny day in Hobart way too much, so after dropping Carly off at the airport, we thought we'd take the scenic route to Devonport up via the Great Lake, and just north of the Great Lake, we hit a cloud, haven't seen much since then. Uh, we found Liffey Falls. I actually found coming up the Great Lake Way really interesting. The country is totally different to anything else that I've seen in Australia so far and looks really rugged. They call yeah. it the Wild West. I mean, we're more central than West right now, but I think we're getting a taste of what the West is going to look like when mm. we get there. Yeah, we must have been quite high up because we were definitely inside a cloud. Along the way, we saw the turn off to Liffey Falls and decided we'd come do a little 40 minute return walk down to see the falls because we saw them on some artwork in a cafe that we were eating at the other day and thought, oh, those look good. So here yeah. we are. And they do look good. Yeah, and it's another green, luscious, fern-ridden place that we love so much. Huge Tassie gums, I guess. The greenery on the walk down here. I might not even think that the walk back up is so bad because of all of that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to enjoy this for a second and then make our way on to Devonport. Was about to leave, foolishly, and then we noticed there's a big tree. Let's go to the big tree. Jesse would never miss out on a big tree. <laughs> That's a big tree. Is that the big tree? I mean, it's a big tree, but is it the big tree? It's got some size. Height 50 meters. And it looks like he was probably higher. He's missing his top, surely. How many darners? <laughs> I mean, he's big, but we have seen bigger. come back to this in a second but we've made it to Devonport and Devonport if you didn't know is the port where the spirit of Tasmania the boat that you can get on from Melbourne to Tasmania lands in Tasmania you can get your car on that so that you can drive your own car around Tasmania if you like we've seen it docked over there in the river I think it's the, the Mersey River is it and we checked into our caravan park cabin last night which is a pretty cozy situation right near the water we can hear the waves crashing all night our little apartment there's our Barry Turns out, that's straight. Yeah. And this morning, we've come to Laneway Cafe here in Devonport. I was shocked to find out that everything on the menu can be gluten-free, including the fried chicken waffles. Would you just look at this masterpiece? <laughs> and now, I'm gonna figure out how to try it. <laughs> the presentation was beautiful. I've quickly <laughs> ruined it. You have destroyed it. <laughs> it has fallen over. It's integrity is gone. I got, I got some though. <laughs> wow. That chicken, that fried chicken is so crispy and delicious. And then mixed in with the maple chili situation, it's like a flavor explosion. I'm so happy right now. I almost ordered the eggs benedict and luckily the waitress told me that I could get anything gluten free, including the waffles. So I changed my order quickly to the waffles and I'm very happy that I did. And what have you got there, Jesse? A, a bacon and egg burger, but it looks like a fancy one. Yeah, bacon, egg, cheese, mm. the terry burger. The terry burger, it looks good. Did you find a cool tree at a chocolate place? <laughs> mm -hmm. So yesterday when we were driving to Devonport, we passed a lovely looking chocolate shop called House of Anvers. We come back past today to see if we can sample a little bit of stuff. I haven't seen it yet because I'm over here in the trees. Yes, but... we couldn't resist a good tree. <laughs> yeah. 
you hiding from me? <laughs> I found him. Thought I'd lost you to the tree. Is that one tree or a thousand trees? I think it's one. <laughs> it all seems to come from a central spot. It's bigger than the big tree. Yeah. Give me. <laughs> I, of course, had to get myself some chocolates. We all know me. So I've got a Remy Martin little truffle here. Remy Martin's a champagne, right? Yeah, I think so. You can taste a little champagne bubble in there. That's pretty cool. We've got a whiskey barrel. It's even shaped like a whiskey barrel with the musical note on it for some reason. <laughs> I feel like with truffles, you have to wait for it to hit you. There might be some whiskey in there. Maybe I've had too much straight whiskey to taste it properly. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a chocolate one as well. No, not chocolate, sorry. I got a coffee one as well. Mm. Coffee. Classic. Can't go wrong with a coffee and chocolate combination, can you? Alright, let's go to the next place. Sprayton cider and we've got ourselves a couple of tastings. I've gone for the juice tasting. Well, we've got to share them both. We've got the juice tasting here and also a cider tasting. Oh yeah. So let's crack into it, shall we? Mm -hmm. This one's apple and raspberry. Ooh, wow. That's such an interesting combination. Kind of guavery, but also completely different. We've got an orange juice. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> It tastes like orange juice, obviously, but like nice, sweet, like the best juiced oranges that you've ever had. We've got an apple juice. <laughs> I love this place already. Whenever I play a gig, I get apple juice and I always love it when they give me the cloudy apple juice and that's like up there with the best of them that I've ever had as well. And I got to choose a non-alcoholic cider or a non-alcoholic ginger beer for my final one and I went with the ginger beer. Oh wow. That's not like any ginger beer I've ever had. It's close to some of the alcoholic gingers that I've had that taste more like real ginger, but not as, it doesn't have the alcohol, I suppose, so it's not as full on, it's much lighter. It's pretty cool. And then we've got some ciders to try as well. Let's start at the end. <laughs> you always start at the end. Mmm, I'm gonna go backwards from weakest to strongest in alcohol content. Mmm, that smells like delicious ginger. It's the hard ginger beer, 3.5%. Pretty easy going. It's nice, mm, sweet, not too fizzy, but that may be because we've let it sit here for a bit. <laughs> Ginger, lemon, sugar, water and yeast, yeah. Apple and raspberry cider, 3.5% again. Mmm, oh that's delicious. Reminds me of raspberry lollies. Oh, I'll leave some for you this time. Pear cider. Burbosh, burbosh and pack and pears. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. Mm-hmm, apple cider, more, slightly more tart and delicious as well. Oh yeah, special release, that's that dry style. Special release, Kingston Black 2019. The Kingston Black is a bitter sharp apple. One for the beer drinkers, very tasty. I wanna see your review of that one. Vintage cider, 7.5%, have a little slurp. Even more in the tart direction. Dry, tart, still delicious. Keen to see your review, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of all of them so far. So, yeah, very happy with this place. And the rain is just making it extra cool. Rain on the tin roof ambiance, except it's not really tin. Do you reckon we'd be able to get one of these light fittings? They're like even bigger than a 44 gallon drum. <laughs> He's right, this one is not really to my taste. <laughs> it's extremely dry and beer like. I have a feeling I like them more as we get closer to the other end with the ciders. A little sweeter, still too dry for my taste. This one's just a plain apple. They had the vintage, the special release, Kingston Black, and this one's just the normal apple cider. 
That one's getting there. <laughs> Pear. Yeah, you'll be a fan of this one. Mmm. Pear's good. It's actually a really interesting tasting pear. It's got a little something unusual in it. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, the apple and raspberry cider. Not the juice, the other one. Oh, yum. That was my favourite so far. Tastes completely different to the, um, the apple and raspberry juice, though. Totally different flavour profiles going that's on. That's true, that's true. Listen to me, it's an amazing flavour profile. And well, this is what I've got to try the ginger beer because Jesse didn't think ahead. But Oops. <laughs> that was a hint of ginger there. Just a, well, a hint of ginger about the same size as the tiny little sip that I had. <laughs> <laughs> The tasting even comes with a, a takeaway can, or you can have it here if you like. Whichever. Just up the road from Sprite Insider is the Tasmanian Arboretum. So we thought we'd pop in, it's a $5 donation to go around here, and we can see some trees and allegedly there's a platypus around here which 95% of people see. Mm. Will we be part of the 95%? That remains to be seen. Pay no mind to the weather app that tells you it's going to be raining all day because it's kind of, Tasmania seems to be like a tropical region where, yes, you can see rain, but it may not be on top of you. Mm. You got nothing. It's yeah. beautiful. It has been raining on and off though. There's uh, little gaps in between the rain so far. Thankfully it does rain a lot because that's why the whole place is luscious. These trees are my fave so far. I'm going to run up the cold wet hill to see what they are. Is there well of my pines? Where would well of my be? Where might I find a well of my pines? Where? Australia? Definitely Australia. Glad we got to the bottom of that. If I can see a hoary headed grebe. Oop. But I do see coots. And I see dusky moorhens. everyone who comes here sees the platypus and I can see him right now he's a little show off so cute that was so cute footage of him biting the leaf him her we don't know what the platypus identifies as join us next week as we continue to explore the north of Tasmania we popped into the berry patch got your berry smoothie here Dana they got a series of beers over in the fridge that are named after the mountain range back there and Mount Noman is just over there a little bit surrounded by cloud, but still the same shape. We've laid eyes on the massive wood chip pile, which <laughs> seems to be a big tourist attraction here. We've come to the lighthouse at Mercy Bluff here in... In windy Devonport. It is so windy that we're hiding like in a little inset in the lighthouse so that you might actually be able to hear us. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's right. I forgot I had another one. Mm. Bailey's Eat Your Heart Out. Oh, that's really good stuff.